Hey, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and on YouTube for Abzan Multicolor. So this is a, a deck that has a theme where really where multicolor cards matter because of Hero of Precinct 1. So this is going to be my first time playing Hero of Precinct 1 here. Um, and it says that every time we cast any of these multicolor spells, including Flower Find and so on, all these multicolor spells, we get to create a 1-1 one, one creature. So... Um, this was a 5-0 list from, who had this deck? I think Unique. I think that was their Magic Online handle, was Unique. Yep. That, uh, designed this deck, and so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Um, there we go. See if we can get a whole lot of 1-1s. One Abzan Multicolor. Um, there's a few kind of card choices in the deck overall that, that seem a little odd. Like, you know, we're playing like the... There's a 2-mana, two 2-1 two Vigilant Afterlife 1 instead of the card that allows us to sacrifice a creature and give it Death Touch and Indestructible, which I think that may be better with having a bunch of 1-1s. One What do you want, Hawkeye? All right, this hand is decent. We got good mana, and we have some five drops that are awesome. So let's go ahead and keep it. Alright, we're gonna finish up the Gruel Elves video here for YouTube. Oh, I don't like seeing turn one Llanowar Elf. Turn one Llanowar Elf means that you have a really fast hand. Our hand is very slow. So I certainly don't like seeing that. This is not a, a perfect hand, but of course we're on a mulligan to six, so. Don't get to usually have a perfect hand when you mulligan. All right, that one is up. Now let's get Bant Tokens going. Turn to Rhythm. That is pretty impressive. This will be tough. Our opponent's just living the dream over here. Alright, so we're going to have to just mortify this Prime Speaker Vanifar. Got to get that thing out of here. Um, Incubation Druid gets to add a ton of mana, though. Maybe, what if I killed the Incubation Druid, actually? No, that's, that's probably just not worth it. That certainly could have been an option. Alright, almost back to chat. Okay. Got those going. Yeah, they really did upgrade that elf. Turned it into something that added three mana. Am I just going to play Vivian and Minus on the Rhythm of the Wild? Is that what I'm going to do next turn?
Or should I play Tristani? I think I may need to just kill this for Rhythm of the Wild, honestly. Is it like too late though? Is the damage already done? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kill Rhythm. Why do some people run Tender Shoot Dryad in a Selesnya Angel sideboard? I I wouldn't think anybody would do that after Ravnica Allegiance is out. But before that can't like help you green now. mirrors that that stall for a while, where you can just get a lot of creatures from it while well, it just it's on the battlefield. I think now Biogenic Ooze is just a a lot better card, so I wouldn't I wouldn't expect anybody to anymore. Five O lists have not been performing too well. We are two two and three two with Jun Death Whirler and Bant Tokens, so not not too impressed with them. Oh, attack with that incubation druid. Oh dang. Let's do this again. Actually, maybe I just shouldn't even block there. That's not even a good trade. Nah, yeah, it's worth it. Except I'm not gonna be able to attack with these. Knights are only gonna be three threes, so I'm not gonna attack through a four four. Let's get some defense. I like seeing that. I like seeing that. Okay, we can handle this stuff. Double block here, trade a knight for Growth Chamber Guardian. Yeah, Sailor Means is a, you know, just an anti-aggro card that, you know, is a good thing to sacrifice to. Um, that's a good draw. Good thing to sacrifice to uh, Prime Speaker Vanifar. What is one of the strongest new decks since RNA, in your opinion? Um, I think... I, I really think that Bant Midrange has a, a ton of tools and like the Bant color combinations. Um, I expect Bant in, it's gonna take time because there's so many things you can play, but I, I kind of expect Bant in the, the coming weeks to, uh, to kind of turn into a dominant deck. I even block that? I guess I don't. I guess I just have a two-turn clock in the air. Just double block here. I'm not sure about Esper. I, I seem to beat Esper with every deck I play. I'm not super impressed with Esper. I, I'm not going to be able to give the Seraph of the Scales Vigilance, which is what I wanted to do, but I'm, I'm going to play the Oligarch and have Mortify available instead of giving Vigilance. Been having trouble with Esper with White Weenie. Yeah, well, yeah, White Weenie, that's probably White Weenie's, like, worst matchup, honestly, because like, all, the, like, the sweepers that Esper has with Cry and especially Kaya's Wrath. Like, Kaya's Wrath is the card that's holding White Weenie in check, kind of. With Bant Token's last league, we were 3-0 against Esper, 0-2 against other decks. 
<laughs> Esper is the only deck we beat. Uh, let's see. So we're playing against Teamer. Teema. Get these cast downs in here. Ethereal Absolution is probably pretty great. Knight of Autumn, pretty good. Good amount of stuff. Maybe these Conclave Tribunals. Um, so that's 69. I'm not sure if I need these Assassin's Trophies. Honestly, I don't need Knight of Autumn. I got all these Mortifies and then Assassin's Trophy also. I don't need those. And Vivian. Um, I think I'm going to take out one Vivian. Maybe I don't need these Conclave Tribunals then either. Nah. Take out one Vraska. Um... Take out the two trophies. I don't know, even know what else to cut. I guess I'm just going to get rid of the Conclave Tribunals. Which decks counter Mono Red and Best of One? Um, yeah, anything with life gain has been good. Um, yeah. I've been seeing people play like Abzan decks, uh, like either green, white, or Abzan decks with life gain with like Wild Growth Walker and um, and the Explore package and Knight of Autumn and then Angels. So Oligarchs in the deck over Tithe Taker because of because of Hero of Precinct One, um, with the multicolor cards mattering to Hero of Precinct One here. Um, I'm not sure about it if it's supposed to be in over the other white black creature that can sacrifice a creature to gain uh, life link and death touch. I kind of feel like that may be better if, if you're making tokens with hero precinct one that you can have that together. All right, so we're going turn turn two hero. Turn three hero, and then turn four we get to double spell and make uh, four creature tokens. And we can have like Shauna and Imperious Oligarch. I guess that, that's true, Mojo. Mojo says just because I beat Esper every time doesn't mean Esper's a bad deck. And I, I probably have more things in my deck against Esper, maybe the normal. I don't usually like losing to control. Um, but yeah, I wasn't saying that Esper is not a good deck, but when I'm saying like what, what's going to be the best deck of the format kind of thing, I, I don't think Esper is there. Esper is certainly playable, and, you know, it does things. Mortify is awesome. Kai's Wrath is awesome. Teferi is awesome. You have awesome cards. Yeah, this is a leak list by Unique. Yep. One, one time. That's an 8-8. Eight, 8-8's eight. Eight, eight's pretty big. Uh, I think I think Esper may be a better control. Like I think Esper is probably the best control deck. Um, I think it is. It's close though with Jeskai. You know, we just don't really know yet. I could see it being either one. Like in a couple weeks.
Go, Sean and Sissy's legacy. Attack. I added Deacon Blues to the playlist. It's in there. Eight days ago, added it. All right, sorry, Bob Marley. All right, well, Hero looked awesome there, and so did Shauna. Shauna looked just, you know, so big. So we are 1 0 with Abzan Multicolor. Yeah, that was very impressive. Of course, our opponent only played one card, just uh, Growth Chamber Guardian. They didn't have anything else there yet. Bob's not jamming no more. Hmm. Okay. Doing on lands over here. We got 22. Yeah, that looks like our, our like one of our best draws. That last turn for sure. Knight of Malice, a creature that doesn't die to mortify. Looks like we got the we got the anti mortify deck if they they're playing knights with knight of malice and knight of grace, which is unfortunate for us. We can't really get through the knight of malice either. Check history banalia completely. Like a Vraska Golgari Queen. That'd be a good draw. Uh, the second flower I'm probably going to be... I may need to be like flourishing here. I think I want to keep this one for flourish. Yeah, we have removal spells that kill Knight of Malice. And we can flourish over it. Flourish through it. Oh, it's got a strong hand, though. Do not fear, my friend. See in yourself. This is pretty I strong. See. Ooh. All right, we found something that beats Nine of Alice. Be strong. Never mind. Never mind. Don't be Nine Malice anymore. Um, I think we want Dawnbringer. Get these cast downs in here. Ethereal Absolution. Finality. Night of Autumn. Um, cards that we don't want. Could maybe take out one Vivian, but Vivian's pretty good. This Imperious Oligarch just kind of seems like a little bit of a chump blocker, and we have a lot of removal and everything. I don't think we need, like, this chump blocker here. Um, that's all it's going to do. Mortify is good against the enchantments. Not good against the knights. Uh, I don't like River's Rebuke. I'd much rather just have any of the white removal sweepers. Um, not a not a big fan of River's Rebuke.
Hmm. I think I'm just gonna take out two take out some mortifies. Trophy's good against a Johnny, but I don't really like Trophy that much. Kind of in general. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're down a game. Let's see if we can get games two and three. We got 15 creatures for Vivian. That is that is a bit low. Certainly a bit low, but they are an enchantment deck. Uh, where using Vivian as a disenchant is pr pretty nice. Go, Shauna, go. And uh, we saw Kite Sail Freebooter last turn. That's like a creature that we can kill with it. Ugh. Have you heard if MTG Arena is making a game mode where you can still use sets that rotate from standard this fall? That's the. That's what it. It certainly seems like they, there will be. It'd be very shocking if there's not. Um. Yeah, I think that that's the that's the plan. Down, down. Get out of here, Nine Mouse. Won't be quick or quiet. Certainly want to play one of my black spells, either Vraska or Seraph here, because yeah, like looked you know certainly look like they're going to be field of ruining. And I don't have a basic swamp, so I had to get rid of one of the black spells from my hand. And I think it's better to get Vraska in play, because uh, like of our ability to tick up with Vraska and, and gain value and, and everything. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's just going to be where the old sets are, are still just going to kind of be there. Um... All right, I'm playing this thing. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. You know, like they'll they're not going to go anywhere. You'd still like buy the packs for them, I think I would believe in everything. Um We go ahead and sacrifice one of these forests. Yeah, origin for origins forward. That makes sense. I'm glad our opponent did not feel to ruin our black source. And let us cast that. Being ruthless has its rewards. That's a tilt. It's a tilt that I just got rid of the. It's a tilt that I just got rid of the the white source there. Uh, because now Field of Ruin is, you know, Field of Ruin is going to just destroy this land. And I'm, I'm not going to have five mana next turn now. Because we just don't have basics. It's so weird, these Flower Flourish decks. It's like the second one in a row, a Flower Flourish deck with, like, hardly any basics. Yeah, I think I should just held... Flourish. Help for Flourish there. 
Especially with it being pretty obvious that our opponent was going to destroy land. So I can either destroy their Freebooter or keep going up. Maybe sacrifice this Shauna to say Legacy and play a new Shauna. Yeah, I think I'm going to go towards the as ultimate. As we win, nothing else matters. I know we don't have to sacrifice anything, but I, I think it's worth cycling that. That sh basically all we were doing was cycling that Shauna in our hand um, for a new card, and I think that's worth it. I don't really have anything that costs more than f more than five right now. Being ruthless. Find black mana again. No, that's a good one though. So we, the ultimate for Vraska is whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Dang. I assume that Ixalan's Binding was like their draw this turn. I assume they didn't just have that Ixalan's Binding the whole time and they would have let us kill their Kite Seal Freebooter. I mean, I, I assume. I couldn't ultimate yet. I had to wait till next turn to ultimate. Oh right, those are both first strike. I forgot about I forgot about the knight being first strike there. Now that's that's a that's a mistake. That's a bad attack. Right, I was at 9 and I ticked up to 11. Oh, it's minus 9? Okay, never mind. I thought it was minus 10. Because the other Vraska is minus 10. I just thought it was minus 10. The ult is 9. Uh, I just thought it was 10. So yeah, that's... Yeah, I could have ultimated. And now I don't have any mana left. Yes, Mortify can destroy Ixalan's Binding. We like we honestly do not have very many five drops in our deck. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. I think there's two other five drops in the entire deck. Besides the ones that we have. I think there's one more Vivian and one more Trisani, I think. How many black sources do we have in the deck? Um, 4, 8, 12. Looks like 12. 13, 14. 14. We have 14. Two have been destroyed. So there are 12 others. That card doesn't do anything.
We only have three basics in this deck. So all these flower flourishes, there's only three basics for them to get. I guess flower does create a 1-1, one, one, but the problem is if I cast flower, I think it's more light. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of... I'm kind of surprised they haven't field of ruined yet. But I feel like it's... I don't want to... I don't know. I don't want to give them more incentive to field of ruin. Casting flower for a 1-1 one, one and not getting a single land kind of tells you that, but we didn't get a land off of it earlier, but maybe they just forgot. Okay, so we can... So Mortify the Lyra. No, you, whenever you get Vraska back in play, Vraska only comes in at the starting loyalty again. So Vraska will re-enter at four loyalty. Uh, does not re-enter at the at all the loyalty he had before. All right, maybe get another one of these Mortifies in here if they're they're playing Dawnbringer. How many of these lands we got? So we have twenty two lands. Maybe 22 lands and three flowers on the in the sideboard game. Put an extra mortify back in for a flower. Yeah, yeah, because you know she still has an entry. Like she's exiled, so it's it's a different Vraska that re-enters. You know, it's a you know it's a new new game object. Um. The Vivian would have gone so like the if we would have mortified one of the the kite sail freebooters on the Vivian, the Vivian would go back to my hand because the freebooters took it from my hand. So killing the Lyra there meant they would have had to block both had both the free freebooters block both my creatures, which would have um, <clears throat> which would have put the Vivians back in my hand. Yeah, same rule for paper magic. Yeah. Yeah, everything loses counters when it's exiled. Yep. Everything just you just reset whenever you exile stuff. Alright, so Golgari Queen cannot kill this Knight of Grace. Like this knight. The Knight of Grace is hexproof from black. That one's a bigger, bigger challenge for us to deal with. All right, so we're going to Mortify, destroy the Ixalan's Binding, get our Seraph back, block their Seraph. No, once when the freebooter dies, the Vivian goes back to my hand. It does not go into play. Yeah, no problem. Good question. All right, Tristani is going to be the play here. Help block this Knight of Grace. Bugle boy. Bugler whiffed. And now our 2-2s two block their 1-1s. One 
We're looking good here if they draw land, hopefully. Give us a turn. Alright. Yeah, we have stabilized. Please break my heart. Hmm. I think it's probably the safest to start killing their things. Instead of playing the Vivian. I'm good at Vivian, of course, do. increases our resources, but it's I probably safer to decrease one of their resources. Creatures. They vanish all the time. Yeah, it's, it's cool how many people are experiencing magic due to Arena. All these questions are great. I agree. Ugh, you got... Uh... Alright. Alright, now Vivian is going to come in and kill that Eldritch Reborn. I guess today is your lucky day. Let's see you. <laughs> Get that out of here. Does that do anything? I mean, I have like two Knight of Autumns in the deck. I guess that stops. Oh, Tristani. That's Come already on the battlefield. Me. I mean, I have, I have the Golgari Queen to kill the Honor Guard if we need to. We're ticking up and trying to find Dawnbringer. Lyra Dawnbringer is the card we're trying to find with this, Vivian. So, you know, we get to look at five cards a turn between our draw step and these four. And so no pretty soon with five cards like a, I do. Five cards a turn. We're gonna find Lyra Dawnbringer here pretty soon. Likely that is. I guess I can look at six cards a turn. I can sack I can sack a land to Frasca. Your corpse will make a nice souvenir. Gain a life. I can kill this knight. Just gonna be safe. Want it gone? Consider it done. And we got a vigilant angel. But you've been playing since ninety three? That means you have, like, tons of Black Lotuses and everything, right? <laughs> Dawnbringer! Balance comes. Um, I started playing Magic. I played whenever I was a kid, and that was and like when like Odyssey was out. Odyssey Seventh Edition, Sixth Edition, around there. But that was just me uh, playing with friends and everything at school. Um, that you know is just that but then uh back in world wake is whenever i kind of rediscovered magic with like those same friends and uh started playing magic online and so i i kind of say that world wake is when i started really the ends justified Ooh, that card's gonna be good It's unfortunate this game's already over because that ethereal ab absolution was going to be sweet.
Our opponent didn't draw anything for a very long time. It's really unfortunate for them. They were so close to killing us. My first, like, I remember, I remember so, like, way back then, even though I did, I did go to, like, one or two FNMs. And I remember for one FNM, I had an Esper deck with four Absorb, four Undermine, four Recoil. Um, and it was, like, Esper Control. I don't remember what I used to win. Uh, but it was, it was my favorite deck. Absorb's back in standard now. Undermine is, y'all know Absorb, blue, blue, white, counter spell, gain three. Undermine was blue, blue, black, counter spell, the opponent loses three. Done stuff. Man, Land Warlf is a good card. I don't know if y'all know that. Land Warlf's pretty good. It's a good turn. Pretty good turn. This deck week too so well. We're weak to Landwar Elf. Humans. Our deck is pretty slow. Landwar Elf has just destroyed us here. Plus all of our cards being really good mythics. I mean Midnight Reaper is a mythic. Lava Coil is mythic removal. This is mythic ramp. Their whole deck is filled with mythics. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yeah, you gotta do the exclamation point first before. As you see up here on screen, exclamation point decks. But they're right there for y'all. No rekindling Phoenix this turn. I guess they still have a land drop. You can still play Phoenix. Huh. I w would have thought this was a Phoenix turn. I guess next. Yeah, I guess we're just playing Phoenix next turn. Alright. Um, let's do this. Ah, strike me, and you strike me. Phoenix would have been a really good blocker. The wilds are my shield. There's Phoenix. Vivian Minus just isn't worth it, is it? I have nothing good to deal with Rekindling Phoenix in the main deck. Not a single Exile spell. Or nothing. Let's tear the meat. My newest friend. I 
Yeah, if we draw like a, a removal spell, we can minus and kill it and then use a removal spell on the token. And like a Vraska Wagari Queen. Balance comes. This land where else just made our opponents deck so much faster than ours. Now, Lyra is not even in the main deck. Lyra is in this. We have like one Lyra in the sideboard, so I have like Seraph. Uh, Judith is back breaking. <laughs> I'm a survivor. No one knows the wilds like I do. I can't beat these phoenixes, can I? No. Alright, we need these tribunals. We need Lyra. We need our own Midnight Reaper. Find Finality. Ethereal Absolution. Um, Tribunal not good against Vivian. Yeah, I'm streaming tomorrow. Yep. Yep, we're starting tomorrow off with an Abzan deck built around Smothering Tithe. That's going to be the first deck at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Smothering Tithe, Revel the Riches, and whatever the new green instant is that destroys all artifacts and enchantments. That thing too. Our deck's just a lot slower than the Land War Elf decks. So they have like just Land War Elves again into Vivian. Um... It's going to be pretty tough for us. I don't really know what to cut. I'll trim one Vivian and just just gonna get rid of these oligarchs that they're not too strong. No, the John Death Whirler deck did not get uploaded to YouTube. We had internet connection is issues that um, during that, and I had to reset the stream and everything earlier today. So no, it did, did not get uploaded. Domri is honestly not. Domri is not too good. Um, I wish Domri was was good, but Vivian is just miles better. Um, Rhythm is also kind of a little bit more of a sideboard card. I'm not too surprised by seeing no Rhythm or no Domri. Floor package is still king. We're trying to do all this other fun stuff. Nice, Zach. Alright, Chastani. 
Hope you do a whole lot for me. So I have nothing going on here. Rekindling Phoenix is just such a such a great card. This looks like the Jun deck we played the other day, um, a few days ago, but our opponent's drawing a lot better than I did. Hmm. I'll just keep this in hand. Cool. Uh, you so glad you glad you like that one. Why is Phoenix so good? Why are we not playing Vrasis Contempt? Uh, we already exiled one. There's one over here. I guess I could cast Flourish there, and they block the 4-4, and I deal 3. Like, that's just not, it's not a realistic thing. Yeah, oh, Absolution. That would be a great draw. Yeah, I'd love to draw an Ethereal Absolution. Yeah, Ethereal Absolution would be perfect. I never... I never got... Fleck... I, I haven't gotten any... Any message from you. Send it in a whisper. The Twitch PMs, I, I don't know where Twitch PMs are, they're weird. Just send it in a whisper. Hmm. Yeah, it's not it's not quite lethal. They get but they chump block with their Phoenix token though. Oh, is this thing, is this going to have like one power? No, it's not even going to have power. Never mind. So they don't even have to chump block. Right. Never mind. Tristani, it's not going to have power. They get their Phoenix back. Should have waited. I don't know if I should have waited. That siege gang was like gonna kill me. But if their plan was just Wild Growth Walker and Branch Walker, then I wish I would have waited. All right, Fleck, I'm just going to whisper you cuz you're you're not whispering me. Oh, it's there. Huh. All right, never mind. You got me. 
All right. It just wasn't showing up. Once I start trying to whisper you, then it's there. All right, I got you. I got you, Fleck. All right, we're two and one. Their deck looked a whole lot better than ours in those two games. But it, that's like, you know, that's the Explore package. And I mean, all their cards were awesome. Explore package, Rekindling Phoenix, Vivian, Midnight Reaper. No, no bad cards there. All right, let me send this email. Sorry, my bad, Fleck. Oh, yeah, it was for some reason it was not coming up as a new message for me. All right, play first. I'm not liking this deck. I've had a lot of hands that have just started on Tristani as like our only thing to do. Yeah, they played Vivian. Our opponent did. Let's hurry up and flower before we're out of basics. We're going to just keep drawing them. Oh my gosh. This whole flower flourish and play three basics. I am completely off of it. Completely. Yeah, Mirror March deck? That could be fun. It's for another time. Let's try out some 5 0 lists today. to say they've not been very impressive. Oh, classic. We have Assassin's Trophy we cannot cast. Their opponent doesn't have any lands. Assassin's Trophy is probably the worst removal spell in Standard. Giving opponents a basic is such a big downside. But we do have finality, so we have, you know, we have finality. Finality is going to be awesome. We got lots of lands. We'll cast this finality, kill a bunch of stuff. They'll still have, you know, a million cards in hand, but it's going to be sweet. Yeah, the worst one that's played. Yeah, I guess it's, it's not worse than... You know, whatever. You know, like seven mana. You know, destroy a creature with flying. Or, you know, I don't know, whatever the... Whatever ridiculous thing is in, in Limited. I don't mind one in the sideboard for, like, a situational thing. Like, maybe against, like, a... A Band Nexus deck that has like lots of enchantments and Teferi um, that could also like you know maybe have like a creature in after sideboard I think it's fine there
Oh, I mean, just give me Brass's Contempt. Just give me that. I'll take that. Hmm. Okay, so our opponent has still not activated this Growth Chamber Guardian either. So I'm just going to play this Seraph. I guess, do I just trophy this growth, growth Chamber Guardian? So they can't go find more? I guess if I wait till next turn, they can just adapt it. And then I respond by trophy, but then they just adapt again. So like, just having like the trophy in response to adapt, will they just have the mana just to adapt it again, and then it's just really a waste of a trophy? <laughs> Won five games with every deck yesterday. What happened? Uh, playing these five O deck lists. Not. I'm not not sure about these decks. Some of, like they looked pretty cool, but they haven't been feeling too good. Their Hydroid Crisis is just going to be ridiculous because of these stupid trophies. Cool, Ukrads. Glad you're liking the Marty Angels deck. Like, why are these in our deck? Like, what is this card? Come on. All right, Sarah for the scales. Three turns. You can do it. We just gotta hope they don't find Hydroid Crisis. If they find Hydroid Crisis, we're just dead. We just die on the spot. Maybe they're not playing it with the Prime Speaker of Anifar. Hey, glitch with the sub. Welcome to the stream, Glitch. <laughs> you put just you put two Sylvan Awakening in the Gates deck for fun? Nice. Well that is sub number fifteen on the day. I don't know, I haven't seen just a an only blue green Vanifar deck. They certainly seem like they're playing a lot of a lot of oozes though. I I'm expecting they're gonna get rid of the the river Oz, the river wise Oz, and get another ooze. And Scythe also getting in on that action. Thank you, thank you so much, Scythe. Let's get some more hype boats in the chat for our subs. There we go. The level up music? Hey, we also have another subscriber for the third month in a row. Marta, uh, I'm gonna go with Mart. Martalikov, maybe. Welcome back. All right, so we're at 66. Um, with us like resetting and everything, Streamlabs was kind of on the, the fits earlier, so there's no notifications here today, unfortunately. Hope, hope that that worked out tomorrow. 
Oh, that's a great draw. That's a great draw. Okay. No Hydroid Crisis. I think we can do this. Uh, yeah, okay, the, that, okay, that one, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, the, the victory fanfare, yeah. I'm missing it, too. No, I don't think we need to attack with the oligarch. You know, if we attack with both, they have to block one, but, like, the thing is, they can, like, take three, chump the other one. I think it's better to have these back to, to block. Because they, if we attack with both, oh wait, they're vigilant, right? They actually, they're vigilant. Well then, then it makes sense to just go ahead and attack with them because they're vigilant. Does that even make sense though? I don't know. We're at eleven. Our opponent's attacking for a bunch. Manafar is scary, isn't it? I could certainly see like a dream eater. Okay. Hmm. We're just taking five here. No, I want to kill news. So we'll have three, two, or four. We'll have four, two, twos. Yeah, like the angel it only reduces the power by one by letting it die. Opening a box of RNA and holy crap, Seb McKinnon made some amazing art. What's Seb? Do I have anything from Seb? I don't. Alright, so we're playing against uh, Simic, Vanifar. Let's get these Tribunals in. Cast Down does not kill Vanifar, but it kills Biogenic Ooze. Absolution is amazing. Finality, we saw, won us that other game. Um, See, so yeah, like these Finalities are basically over here. Oligarch is coming on out. Um, Curve, of course, is pretty high. Maybe with these other removal spells, I don't need trophies. Um, yeah, Reaper is probably great. I'm in for some Midnight Reaper. Cause they're gonna have less answers to Dawnbringer. Uh, Vivian taking one out. I kind of like Vraska coming in and minusing. I'm just pretty happy with Vraska in general. I'm going to take one out, though. And then the two trophies. Okay. Game two. Yuck. Fatal sensation, you know this is not my deck list, right? And you know I just boarded them out because I don't like them.
you know, like, like laughing at saying saying that I don't like the card and they're in my deck. Well, it's it's not my deck list. All right, well, Shauna, Midnight Reaper. It's not a bad start for us. It could be worse on Mulligan to five. It could certainly be worse. And then find finality can get these back. So I can I can trade aggressively with the Shauna and the Midnight Reaper with the find finality in my hand to be able to get them back from my graveyard. Especially with a second one now. Even like, you know, trading like even if they my creature had like a my opponent had a bigger creature where we double block and you know trade two for one like that because we get to draw the cards get them back it's a fine um it's a fine trade i thought it was pretty rude fatal sensation but oh well we'll move on we, man. Yeah, I mean, the problem is like Biogenicus can just get out of control now with using the removal spell there, but it's, it's certainly possible we draw another one. No, I do not watch any combat sports, no. Hopefully no Biogenicus. Uh, another Vanifar. Hmm. I wonder if I should just... Ooh. Okay. Well, that answers my question. I was wondering if I was going to just attack into uh, the Vanifar with both creatures and just, like, let let one die, basically. Um, but now we just get to get rid of this Vanifar and keep the pressure on. <laughs> he tried to click on the skittering scorpion. <laughs> nice. Uh Negate. Hmm. All right, so Yeah. Yeah, and I'll attack with the Shauna. Finality is awesome. The problem with finality is it costs six mana. But finality is great. Could see our opponent getting... Yep, that's what I was going to say. Growth Chamber Guardian and kind of starting that chain. We need, we need to get two more lands so we can start finality. In this deck, would Binding be better? Or do you still like Conclave because of the tokens? I would like Binding more. Quasi-duplicate. Alright. I like it. We could be could have been in trouble if our opponent just didn't block there. Certainly been in trouble. All 
Vanifar. So now this is going to be a news. Riverwise Augur is really nice before the Vanifar, where you get to put two cards you don't want back on top. You know, it's just Brainstorm. Put two, shuffle away two cards with the Prime Speaker Vanifar. The good news is we do have Finality. That's the good news. Uh, mesmerizing Benthid would, would be a big problem if they would just go get... Oh! That's going to grow the Vanifar, though. Oh, that's going to grow Vanifar. I forgot about that. That's Vanifar is not going to be a 3-5. Yeah, we're not going to kill Vanifar anymore. That is some bad news. All right, we'll get everything else though. They're gonna go get another Riverwise Augur. Ooh, no land out of five cards. That's a pretty bad miss for the opponent. I think I may just cast Find here, get Midnight Reaper and Shauna back. Um, or should I pay? Maybe uh, I, I guess I was probably supposed to pay two life uh, and get these. Put these both into play. I probably should pay two life. Yeah, brainstorm fetch lands. Their opponents doing over there. Yeah, which six wouldn't be so bad, but we'd be able to draw two cards. It would have shocked down to eight. Find something to answer this Vanifar. Holy well, Seraph, the scales can gain death touch. That's pretty good. Yeah, every biogenic ooze is like a must. Board wipe, but opponent has too many of them. Looks like we're going to a game three. Yeah, like the Vanifar is just giving our opponent so many, so much, uh, so much value. And us just sitting with finalities in our hand and nothing else to do. This our deck just doesn't have has no card advantage. Has no card advantage, no like real powerful cards. Um Yeah, I don't Not a big fan of this deck. That we're playing here.
I don't have any other like sweepers in my deck or anything. Okay. Do I want to duress? They had like that negate, which is like crucial. I don't know. Maybe I do play these trophies. Um. We were on a mold five also, uh, which I guess that's a that's a thing. Hmm. Take out a flower and. Uh, no, Ashana. I don't know. Are we, are we actually going to be able to do this Hero Precinct 1 thing? Like, if we draw Hero Precinct 1, we can actually, you know, we can maybe do something. Maybe I just don't need Golgari Queen. I guess their, their big important things are just more than 3 mana. I'll just bring in Trophy instead of Golgari Queen. Because, you know, we've got to kill Vanifar and Biogenic Ooze. Like, those are the, those are the two things we got to kill. I mean, Growth Chamber Guardian is like a thing to kill. It costs less, but okay. Let's see if we can let's see if we can actually do it. We'll see if we draw lands. Let's see if we can do the hero precinct one thing. Come on, lands. Okay, they got only green mana. Lots of elves. Okay. We're kind of doing it. We're going to save Mortify for like Biogenic Ooze, you know, I don't think just using my one removal spell on a land or elf here, it's not like the game's gonna end that that quickly. I guess I should probably attack. I should probably offer the trade for two land or elves with hero. Not even shocking in there. I have nothing to play. I'm not I'm not going with the trade thing anymore. We played the gate deck yesterday. We didn't play it today. Um, had a great time with it yesterday. You can see the video on the YouTube channel. Right here, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. They could have dive down, I guess. All right, we're actually doing the hero thing. Tristania will make three two twos. Whenever we play it. All right. Serif activation. They are a light darkness.
Yeah, this one's looking really good for us. Um, our opponent's deck's not doing very much. I'm glad we didn't focus on trying to get those land worlds out of here, because they just had lots of lands. Boom. So they can eat one two two with the the uh, ooze, but there we go. Victory. Good job, Hawkeye. We are three and one with the deck. I know I haven't I haven't been uh, you know been a little critical of the deck, but I mean we are winning. So that's pretty good. All right. Let's see if we can get if we get this, then we get to go to the final boss. Um, we're on the draw. We would play like chapel on turn one, and then flower for a forest. Doesn't seem great. Let's retry. Yeah, I think Abzan does have potential too. I, I agree with that statement. I think Abzan has potential and not sure the hero package is the best fit. Agree with that too. Wow, they're taking the trophy. Wow. That is surprising. So I guess they have contempt for Seraph, Seraph of the Scales, or just Counterspell. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised about that. Yeah, they gotta just have Counterspell. Is it wrong that I always mistake Seraph with the scales for a Sphinx? No, not necessarily. Oh, Fungal Infection? That's a good one. Alright, opponent, what do you want to take? Planeswalker? Give her that one more. I haven't forgotten how to destroy things. Hmm. Sometimes so I don't think I really want to cast so I think they're back on having like the counter spell available again I don't really want to cast my Seraph for the scales into the counter spell um, but maybe I do now that I have this Vivian yeah I guess I'm going to now that I have Vivian I have not been really liking these flower flourishes too much. Um, we only have three basics in the deck, and it's been it's been kind of difficult. Uh, 
like having four flowers and only three basics and against decks that like feel to ruin you and things like that and not not loving it. Well, that's pretty unfortunate for our opponent. That's sabotage x equals zero. An unfortunate casualty. They're cleaning it up with removal spells, though. I'm sacking the history now. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Just giving like this this thing plus two for a turn isn't really that big a deal. Let's just get that thing. We'll just sacrifice that, and uh, I think I'm just passing. Really don't want to play my Vivian into a potential counter spell. Oh, hey, Ben. Yeah. Good games there. Yeah, you were really flooded that third game. Sorry about that. But thanks. Good luck the rest of the way, too. Ah, that got my attention. Why are you being so... Here. If you don't play Vivian, they're gonna thought seize it from me. Very possible. Aha! But now they're tapped out. Oh no, they're not tapped out. No, they're gonna thought seize it. Ah, uh, good call. Good call. Pain is weakness. Well, good thing Brasco's doing a lot of work for us. No. And we got another Braska. Back up Braska. We're not going to ultimate that one, though. We we're so close to ultimating it. You should leave. An unfortunate casualty. Okay. Got game one. Let's bring in Midnight Reaper. Ethereal Absolution? No, we don't need that. But Midnight Reaper. Um, yeah, Baby Vrasco did a lot of work for us there. But, you know, you just leave Planeswalkers out there so much. Yeah, and Duress. Um... This song, this is Foster the People, uh, Hell in a Beat. All right, I think Shauna, Shauna's a little weak against, you know, sweepers and everything, and, hmm, they're playing a bunch of fungal infections and things like that. Complexity built Naya value on Arena, been really enjoying it. Awesome, Complexity. Cool, glad you're liking it. Let's see. Probably don't need all these mortifies and trophies. I'm going to cut two mortify, one trophy.
Is Conclave Tribunal just better than those? They're just playing straight up blue black. Maybe Conclave Tribunal is just the better Mortify or Trophy. Oh, they're playing Grixis. So we saw them play a Bedevil. They they had yeah, they were sitting with Bedevil for like the longest time. They're playing Grixis. Alright, we got a tribunal for a thief. Now they got all the red black lands. <laughs> Just all red black lands. Oh, three color decks. Yeah, we don't have to be worried about counter magic, which is great. We just just slam down history, and then Seraph, and then Vivian. There's blue. So I could play Oligarch plus Tribunal next turn. I don't know if that's really worth it, though. Do I even need to play Tribunal right away? I guess I don't. Because if I Tribunal that Nicol Bolas and they just have another Nicol Bolas, that's kind of bad. Eh, that's not even really that bad for me. Ah, there goes Vivian. They always take my Vivian right before I'm going to play it. Vivian's always gone. Okay, so if I play Seraph, actually, I think I actually like Braska here. Yeah, I'm gonna play Braska. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to attackers, attack with this four three. Tribunal. I'm gonna I'm gonna sack one of these tokens. I think for how they use the cast down on my. Going to die anyway. On my Seraph, I kind of feel like they have a, like some kind of small sweeper, you know, whether it's Ritual of Set, like we saw last game, or Cry of Carnarium, or, or something like that. Well, now we're going crazy. No, no reason to really draw a card. Um, because we're going to have to discard it to Eldest Reborn. So we, we got to empty our hands. So we're just declining. Okay. Braska Golgari Queen. Pretty impressive there. Of course, History Banali is a great card. And all that kind of stuff. Seraph with the Scales was really good. Seraph, like that first Seraph traded with the, traded with their cast down, and drew us a card with our Vraska tick up, and also was the sacrifice creature off of Eldritch Reborn. All of that from that Seraph of Scales. Okay, four and one, we get our final boss. Yeah, Grixis has really lost a lot. Uh, well, basically, Grixis hasn't really added very much, and the format's gotten better. A lot more um, enchantments around. We have Teferi for the final boss. Hmm. This is a tough one. Are we first? That card's good. We're second. I should have kept that. Yeah, a little. Yeah, like, I want to get towards Vivian, you know, right? Like, I want to try to be able to cast Vivian. 
Tongue Tamer with that sub with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the stream. Hypo's in there. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. And a foe the king. Also. Joining the hype there also. How is it the deck how has this deck been feeling compared to Mardu Angels? Much worse. But we're doing okay with it. Thanks, King. King KFC. Glad you like the tie. Should be down to 64. It's going a little slow. It's at 65. Yeah, that trophy was really good for us because now we get to play Vivian Reed on turn four. It's the problem trophy. I've lost so much meat, my newest friend. Yeah, so they, yeah, for so for three mana, we got a a two two. Made our opponent discard a card, and we ramped ourselves one. It's like Elvish Rejuvenator. There was a two two, and they had to discard a card. I've seen worse. I like our opponent's strategy though, because we don't have very many. We don't have many basics. That second trophy was really bad for us, though. The first one was good for us. The second one was really bad for us. We needed that Vivian. So we'll finally trade with that. Like this time they'll they'll block, but we're, we're getting that Midnight Reaper out of there first. All right, and and turn back to the stream playlist. Yeah, that was Final Fantasy Seven. Sure. Why not? I don't know if that's in Smash. I don't know. All right, so they're they're down to two cards. Good news for us. Well, we have an Assassin's Trophy. Good news for us. All right, I'm gonna wait till they wait till they draw a card. Before I trophy this, because it gives it just just a slighter, slight chance, you know, a slight, slightly higher chance that they draw a land. So, you know, it's very, very slight, but we're not going to take the land out of the deck until after they draw. No, our list does not have March.
rude. Hmm. If I, it's a really aggressive move to trophy this. But we put him down to 8. And we're attacking for 8 next turn. They don't have like any lands left in their deck because of our trophies, so there's no way they draw a land again. Yeah, hope they don't have another big big Vraska. You know, they're they're a stompy deck with like pelt collectors and stuff. Hmm. Yep, no more basics. Kill that. All right, point and click in our removal spells. Draw land. Oh, they. Sywin boss, why'd you say that they're gonna draw Big Vraska again? Come on. All right, we're getting. Right, we're just getting the both oligarchs. That even if they die, we get one ones. You know, we just gotta try to finish this off. We have been drawing well the last few tur turns. You know, we drew trophy, trophy into mortify and define finality. We we did draw really well there. And history finality before that. History and yeah, so like we we drew really well those last four turns. All right, so they're a creature deck. No, no tribunal, no dawnbringer. I do not want those cards. Don't want duress. Cast down likely. Midnight Reaper, yes. Um, I think like Reaper, cast down, ethereal absolution, and find finality. You know, specifically finality are like the cards I'm kind of interested in. Oligarch was was really good that game for us. Um, I'm gonna take out a couple of flower flourishes, especially if they're trophying my stuff. I don't have many basics, so let's take out a couple of those. But I, I honestly just don't have very many lands in general. Then 22 without those, so maybe we'll have solutions a little expensive. Um, we haven't cast Ethereal Absolution yet. Um, Vivian's really good. That's the end of that statement. And uh, let's see. Hmm. What two cards do I want to take out? Maybe Mortify? Mortify is like a more expensive cast down. I think I have to keep Trophy because of their Vraskas. Maybe one Mortify, one Queen. I could see Hero being pretty good for us. And we'll be able to try here. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't block Steel Leaf Champion, that's for sure. But we have we have removal for Steel Leaf Champion, so we're kinda good to go there. We have a decent amount of removal in the deck. Midnight Reaper. We got 
a really good curve here. Hero, and then we have Oligarch, and then Seraph, and then Tristani. You know, like we're we're curving out here. There's those steel leaves. They do get to draw a card, but we get a couple two twos. Because of Tristani. There we go! That curve! Opponent couldn't handle it. No finality on the opponent's side. I was, I was a little worried about a finality. And the final boss is defeated. An Abzan multicolor. Even though I was, you know, not, not a huge fan of the deck, it was getting the wins. Hey! We got, this is the very first time this third slot has been upgraded from an uncommon to a rare for me. Very first time for me. So we got 80 gems. For that 5-1 there. The only 5-1 five, five of the day. Yeah, you weren't super impressed with it? No, I, I, have, I was not impress, impressed with this deck too much either. You said you, you tried that deck earlier today. Um, I wasn't very impressed with this deck either, honestly. Uh, didn't seem like we had too much card advantage. Like it's like when when we had Hero Precinct one early, it was it was pretty good. You know, like we got to do a lot of things. But there was just so many games where we just didn't have Hero Precinct one, and we just weren't really doing anything, and it didn't feel very good. But we saw the power of Seraph of the Scales in a lot of games. Seraph of the Scales just won us lots of games, kind of on its own. Um, yeah, it was really strong. This card's really good. So. It's kind of surprising. I, I was not high on this card, uh, you know, whenever I was previewing the set. And this was um, this is a card that has been just, uh, you know, continually impressive. And more impressive than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, the, the guild pack card could be good in this kind of deck with, like, all the uh, afterlife creatures giving plus one, plus one. But... Yeah, Seraph is amazing. That's a very good card. All right, well, if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along for all the other videos. Here's a link in the chat for the YouTube. Also, if you want to go back and watch any of the other decks we played. Yesterday, we had tons of great leagues yesterday. We were just getting five wins with basically everything. I think we went 33-4 and four yesterday, I think, was the final one. We had one 3-2 league, and all the rest of them were 5-0s. And then like one or two five ones. Um, so yeah. So if you want to check out some some sweet decks, check out the videos from yesterday up there on YouTube. Um, does best of three go by match of game wins for quests? No, no. It's still game wins. It goes by game wins in the quest when you play best of three. It's still game wins. All right, but uh, thanks for watching this on YouTube. I'll see you for the next video.